Boruto, 10 Most Immature Characters, Ranked While almost all the characters are immature to a certain extent, there are some who are far above the rest when it comes to immaturity. Boruto, Naruto Next Generations is set 16 years after the conclusion of the Fourth Great Ninja War that took place towards the end of Naruto Shippuden. After the conclusion of the Fourth Great Ninja War Naruto Uzumaki became the seventh Hokage of the village and a new generation of shinobi sprung forth, led by Boruto Uzumaki. Being quite young right now, Boruto Uzumaki and his generation of ninjas have a lot to learn about both living life as a ninja and the will of fire. While almost all the characters are immature to a certain extent, there are some who are far above the rest when it comes to immaturity. 10. Kawaki has a lot to learn about growing up in a healthy environment. Raised by none other than Jigen, Kawaki endured quite a difficult childhood which, in some ways, forced him to grow up sooner than most kids. However, Kawaki is still a child at heart who is learning more about growing up from Naruto every single day. While in some ways he's far more mature than Boruto Uzumaki, in other ways. He learns by watching Boruto every single day. Kawaki's behavior might not be childish, but it certainly is very rash at times. 9. Mitsuki is very straightforward about everything. Orochimaru's child, Mitsuki is quite a smart ninja, considered to be one of the smartest of his generation by many. Despite being a genius. He's still a child at heart and, at times, quite immature, especially when it comes to understanding others and showing emotions. Mitsuki wears his emotions on his sleeve and takes everything at a face value. Which puts him in funny situations at times. It goes without saying that he needs to grow up slowly. 8. Sarada Uchiha is way too competitive at times. Sarada Uchiha is one of the brightest students in Kanahagakura in the Boruto era, and she possesses a talent that is comparable to even Boruto himself. She also aims to become the Hokage of the village, however, Sarada is far from truly understanding what it means to be the Hokage. At times, she is way too competitive and tries to push herself beyond her limits which proves to be counterproductive. She still has a lot to learn about progressing healthily. 7. Samayur Keikiai was way too shy initially. Samayur Keikiai was the class representative when Boruto Uzumaki was in the academy. Towards the beginning of the story, Samayur was quite shy and had trouble expressing her emotions. Akin to Hinata back in the day. She had quite a difficult time getting used to those around her but things have slowly changed for her. Samayur continues to grow every day and is more of a trusting person now. Nonetheless, she still has ways to go, just like most characters from Boruto's generation. 6. Boruto Uzumaki can be the most annoying brat at times. The protagonist of the series, Boruto Uzumaki has proven himself to be quite an immature person, as expected of a boy his age. Boruto likes to play silly pranks at times and has a hard time understanding emotion. Often, he lashes out without truly understanding the reason behind the actions of other people. However, at the same time, Boruto is a quick learner and he's shown immense progress over the years, and he continues to do so every 5. Metal is quite immature, just like his father and Guy Sensei. Metal Lee is Rock Lee's son, and just like him back in the day, he's quite immature. Metal lacks the emotional maturity that one expects from a genin. At the same time, he's far more vulnerable emotionally than his father was. Metal is also unable to perform on the big stage and he has a lot to learn about his way of ninja. Nonetheless, he's quite a talented ninja and will grow into a splendid shinobi with time. 4. Chocho is quite the daydreamer and is very dramatic. 
Cho Cho is one of the most immature characters in the Boruto series yet the closest to acting her age. Although, she is a ninja. Cho Cho doesn't let anything get in her personal life and loves to have fun when she can. She is quite a daydreamer and is known to fall for people quite easily, even going as far as imagining her life with them. What's more, Cho Cho is extremely dramatic and has, at times, proved that she needs someone to keep her in check, such as Sarada Uchiha. 3. Inijin Yamanaka is quite childish in nature. Inijin Yamanaka is the son of Sai and Ino Yamanaka and he's inherited the best of both of his parents. Although he's skilled as a ninja. He's very childish when not doing his duty. Inijin loves to play pranks and at the same time, make fun of other people at the expense of their feelings. At times, he's very blunt. Just like his father. Just like Samair, however, Inijin has shown quite a lot of growth since the series began and continues to do so every day. 2. Denki Kamenaraman is book smart but knows little about everything else. Denki is quite possibly one of the smartest ninjas in the Boruto series, however, only when it comes to technology. Outside of that, Denki knows little about life as a ninja and as a person. Despite being a ninja, Denki has very little confidence in his abilities and lacks any sort of resolve. He panics quite easily and usually only functions properly when Iwabi Ueno is next to him. 1. Himawari Uzumaki is the youngest of all the characters. Boruto's younger sister, Himawari is quite easily the most immature character in the story, as is expected of someone of her age. Himawari understands little about people's feelings and doesn't truly get the responsibilities of a life of a ninja. At her age, she mostly cares about playing and having fun but that's exactly what she should be doing. Himawari might be immature but her cheerful and kind nature brings life to the world of